Okay, here we have the ingredients all ready to launch. The beef, the red wine, the carrots, the McCormick seasoning pack, chopped onions, and red potatoes and celery. Welcome back to the Man Cave on God's Mountain. We're going to have a little episode which I call Cooking in a Crock Pot as Taught by a Crack Pot. Now over the years I've been able to perfect my beef stew. So we're going to start out, I've already rinsed the beef. You always want to run some water over the beef just to help make sure it's nice and clean. Get that out of the way. Next we're going to take this McCormick's Slow Cooker's Hearty Beef Stew Seasoning Mix because nobody has time to put this stuff together except them and it makes it really good so you dump this on top of the beef make sure you get it all out then the other thing that makes this a burgundy and I'm gonna call it a Christmas too so we're gonna call this a beef burgundy Christmas stew so the burgundy is the red sweet wine which is actually this is altar wine that we're gonna use and throw it on there I got about five or six ounces Roughly speaking, we're not into precise measurements here on the man cave because we're guys. Women are much better at that stuff than we are. So, next we're going to put in some onions. Now these onions, are not just any onion, I went and I got the sweet onion because the sweet onion tastes a little bit better. So we're going to put our onions, which I spent some time chopping up. I usually chop the onions last because it's a little hard on the eyes. This knife is really awesome. This I. This is a, a ceramic knife, but you got to respect these things and remember to always put it in the sheath. It took me three or four times till I cut, uh, cutting myself before I got the proper amount of respect for this knife. Now we're going to go ahead and dump our carrots in. And tomorrow, we'll, when we come in to check on it, we'll put it on high all night. We're going to go and uh, stir it up. So right now we're just kind of throwing it all in there to get it cooking. I'm gonna get our potatoes in there and the celery. Now these red potatoes are good because the red potatoes not only taste good but they're more nutritious than the white potatoes. And that's a rarity in nature. Usually if it tastes good, it's not as good for you. But if, it, if it's good for you, it doesn't taste good. But this time, we got the best of both worlds. So, I may have a little more potatoes than I need for this. Let's see, we'll get the little celery guys in there. I don't know if I'm going to get this lid shut or not. Oh well. So, there we go. So we're going to spread it out. Now we're going to add some water. And the juices will come out as well, so you don't want to quite go all the way to the top. Because as it's cooking, juice is going to come out of uh, the stew ingredients. So let's see, I haven't started, there's the water, I can start to see it coming along. So this is probably enough for now. Um, let me just add a little bit more, I brought some extra water. Because <clears throat> it can start to dry out. I'm gonna switch the switch to high heat. We're plugged in. When the ladies come in in the morning for their party, they're gonna switch it to low, because we'll be cooking most of the night on that high heat. So this should, this should kind of settle during the night with the heat and put the lid on there, ready to go. And also we have some nice Neanderthal Cro-Magnon bread from the man cave. So we'll take these and we'll slice them in half, toast them up in the um, toaster oven, put some butter on it, and then we got some dipping bread. Because one of the great things about the beef stew is you get the dipping bread, toast it with some butter on it, you dip it into the into the sauce that's absorbed the red wine and the onion and the seasoning stew mix and the taste of the potatoes and, and, and the beef and just uh, uh, just wonderful when onions uh, sweet onion mixes with the beef and the red wine it's just it's just one of those smells that just it's wonderful so it's probably best that this isn't over at my house tonight because I'll wake up in the middle of the night smelling this and I'll be wanting to eat it and it's going to make me hungry and I don't want to be hungry in the middle of the night I need to sleep. It's morning, 
and we're going to unveil the beautiful stew. Now, this has been cooking for almost 12 hours. And remember, we put the meat on the bottom because you want to have the um, you want to have the meat cooked thoroughly. And sometimes I used to put the beef on the top, and then I went to eat it, and it wasn't cooked enough. So always put the beef in the bottom, cook it for a good 12 hours, six hours on high, and then switch it over to low. So we made this for the ladies' guild, but they've been kind enough to let me eat some. So let's see how it turned out here. Now, you know in heaven they have the beatific vision. Well, this is what I call the beefatific vision here. Let's see. Oh, so good. This is just delicious. Well, I'm sorry I'm going to have to end this video now because I'm going to have to eat some of this delicious stew before the ladies come here and take it away from me. So this is a little Christmas gift for the ladies' guild because they're so wonderful. So signing off from the man cave on God's mountain. God bless you all, and may you enjoy your beef stew.